Hey y'all, it's Sheila. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. We're talking about several, several things today. Doing a wear test with a drugstore foundation. Talking about the winner of the Julia giveaway. Talking about some bracelets. Talking about some shirts. I haven't been on here in a while. I may not have come on any in 2020. Um, a day or so after New Year's, I got really sick. Really, really sick. Uh, not the crud, not the flu, nothing like that. I had a stomach issue going on, and I ended up at urgent care a couple of times. And, um, yeah, it was lots and lots and lots of fun. I picked up, and it's really hard for me to say, the uh, Campfield camp Factor. Yeah, I'm not saying that right. Anyway, um... You can get it several ways. You can get it from drinking uh, dirty water outdoors. You can get it from, he said a lot of people get it while they're camping or hiking. They drink water, you know, from a stream or a creek or a waterfall or something like that. There's several ways you can get it. I got it, uh, they're pretty sure I got it from eating undercooked chicken. Yeah, it was loads of fun. Loads and loads of fun. Um, and I had that chicken at a restaurant. A popular restaurant chicken nuggets uh, yeah anyway uh, I've been on antibiotics for a while I still have days where my stomach doesn't feel so good and that's why I haven't gotten around to answering the comments well I wasn't going to answer the comments from the Julia giveaway but the video before that uh, I, I never got around to answering those comments I've tried to heart everything that came through but yeah it it wore me down so I'm thankful it wasn't the flu. I'm thankful it wasn't the crud that's going around, but it wasn't a lot of fun. So, before we talk about this foundation, it's the Revlon New Complexion. I have it on today. I didn't feel myself putting it on because I knew this was going to be a little bit longer video. Uh, I am going to pop back in a couple of times a day and let you know how it wore. I want to talk about these shirts. They are from Thread Tank, and I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about these shirts, and they all go, Oh, they're so soft. I'm like, yes, yeah, soft shirt. I get it. I get it. You can get soft shirts a lot of places. But, you know, they do have cute sayings on them. Those, those are nice. And then the company reached out to me, and I'm like, let, let me just try one of these soft shirts. Let me just try it. This is the slouch neck. It is a three-quarter sleeve. It's sort of like a sweatshirt material, and it says coffee, period. I did get another one. This is a short sleeve scoop neck t-shirt. It says grateful and it's sort of rounded at the bottom. I haven't worn this one yet. I've worn this one a lot. And all those people that went, oh, these shirts are so soft. Well, these shirts are so soft. Very comfortable, just a, just a really soft shirt. Um, there, there are instructions on how to care for your shirts on here. I assume they're on this little insert tag too, but it's written really small and I hadn't read it because it's on the, the cardboard tag. Um, these things are so neat. They have a lot of styles to choose from. They have mom sayings, they have wine sayings, they have coffee sayings, they have all kind of sayings. And when the email came through and I'm like, oh, that's those really soft shirts. And Dave and I were going down the road and I was reading to him some of the sayings on the shirts and we got, um, we got a kick out of them. We love to align our brand with those who aspire to inspire. Everyone has a voice and we're so glad that you are letting us be a part of your journey. It's uh, stories you can wear. I think I really like the shirt. I really like the shirt. It really is soft. But uh, there is a link below for Thread Tank and there's a discount code below. Uh, when David and I were going down the road and I was reading some of these things to him, there was one that said, keep talking. I'm still diag <laughs> diagnosing you. We got a good chuckle out of that one. Anyway, there you go. And somewhere in this video is gonna be the winner of the Julia giveaway. Yeah. All right, let me come up close. That's really close. That's really close. This is the Revlon New Complexion Cream Foundation. Uh, I have hit pan in it this week. I've had this since either the very end of summer or the very first of fall, and I've been wearing it once or twice a week. Sorry, no. 
what y'all are going to see. Uh, it does have a sponge in it. I don't really use that. I put this on with a brush, with a synthetic bristle brush. I'm not a fan of a makeup sponge. I'm just not. I like my fingers or I like using a brush. And it takes very little, very, very little. And you'll find out whether I like it or not. Anyway, it is 8.45. We'll call it 8.45 or 9 o'clock. I've got everything on. Now, keep in mind, I have a lot of seborrheic keratosis. And makeup, certain foundations can hang on those and make them look thicker and scalier than they actually are. So, I'm going to come back in a couple hours and we'll see how this is holding up. So far, it's not gathering in my marionette lines. That's typically where my makeup gathers first. It's not gathering there. I got some deep ones. I got some deep ones. Anyway, um, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, y'all, it is two o'clock. I'm getting ready to leave the house. I've got to run some errands. It's really cold outside, so I'll be changing clothes. I haven't touched up anything. I don't carry makeup to touch up with me. Uh, the only thing I touch up is my lipstick, and I ate a salad, and the lipstick I have on is kind of hanging in there. I'll tell y'all about that towards the end. Um, it still hasn't really, it's starting to gather right here. It's starting to gather in the marionette lines. You can see down here it's gathering a little bit, but hey, unless I go, look, my makeup's gathering in my marionette lines, I don't think anybody's going to notice it. I'll be back later on, probably right before I take my makeup off tonight. Okay, y'all, it's 10 till 9 p.m. at night. I'm going downstairs in a minute and take this makeup off and get ready you know, to settle in for the night. But I want to talk about a few more things. I want to talk about the lipstick I had on. This is from Walmart. It's called In Studio. Um, very inexpensive. This was 97 cent. Uh, I got two shades. Um, very inexpensive packaging. And this is in the shade Blossom. This is what I had on earlier in the video. I think this 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 is a very comfortable lipstick for me it's very creamy it's not what i have on now because i only have one and i didn't have it in my purse after we we went out for supper and i didn't have it to touch up with i touched up with an older lipstick uh it's very creamy and i think it wears for a good while i did my makeup around nine i came back around two and it had started to wear off and i touched it up then and i'd had a salad um but I do fully line my lips all over, so that may help. But, you know, I really like this lipstick. Uh, 97 cent at Walmart. I can't link it. They don't have any links on their website yet for this in-studio brand. Um, they have a lot of blushes and eyeshadows and things like that. But all their eyeshadows are singles. I, I'm just not a fan of eyeshadow singles it's just harder to keep up with it's harder to organize and it's just harder to keep up with and to me it's harder to travel with so i generally avoid single eyeshadows for that reason and i'm not somebody that depots things and puts them in a z palette so uh if you did that it, it, it would probably work and um if the eyeshadows are as good as the lipsticks then wow for 97 cent the other thing I wanted to talk about were, was these bracelets. I have four. I'm only wearing two. Um, it's the Serenity bracelet, and I'm going to link that down below. Um, most of y'all that know me know my very, very, very special, good, bestest friend, Marlene. Um, Monica, my other very, very good, special, bestest friend, has shown these on a video. As you know, Marlene lost her son in October. Uh, to drug addiction and her daughter Stephanie started the serenity bracelet uh, these are all stones that have their special stones like lava and amethyst and different things uh, and 20% of the proceeds goes to fight drug addiction and I'm gonna put that link down below too um, they are stretchy um, and I you know Drug addiction is something a lot of people sweep under the rug, don't want to talk about, blah, blah, you know, but it's out there, and it's out there at numbers you wouldn't believe. Um, 
the people you deal with on a daily basis could be suffering from drug addiction and you not know it. Uh, you're, I don't want to go into categories, but people you meet, people that you deal with on a daily basis, unless you know them really well, you might not know if they're suffering with drug addiction. And um, it is an epidemic and it's, it's really, it's really sad that um, Marlene had to lose her son to drug addiction, but Stephanie made these wonderful bracelets, and like I said, 20% of the sales will be going to um, the organization I'll list it below that helps fight drug addiction. Now, let's look at this makeup. Let's look at this makeup. Wait a minute. Let me get the name of the winner for the Julia contest. Okay, the winner for the Juliet contest, it was a customizable necklace, and you had to watch the video, give it a like, uh, tell me what um, necklace you would like to win, is Debbie Talbert, Talbert. Uh, and she actually, we've never met, uh, she watches almost all my videos, and when her name popped up, I'm like, oh, that's my neighbor, I've never met. Uh, she's been following me since the really, really early days. She sat through a lot of really bad videos of mine. So, <laughs> congratulations, Debbie. Get in touch with me and uh, we'll get you in touch with Julia to get your necklace sent to you. Now, let me come close. How did this makeup hold up? Uh, like I said, it's going on 9 p.m. It's been on since about 8.45 this morning. It is hanging. In my creases it is I don't touch up I don't touch my face uh, working in healthcare all these years I soon learned that a lot of viruses colds that kind of stuff was passed through the mouth nose and eyes so I just quit touching my face the result of that was my makeup looked better longer so I don't touch my face I don't carry anything with me to touch up my face other than lipstick but if I wanted to touch up my face let's just get this out It, it's it's gone right there it was about gone from my chin to I suppose from using my napkin at dinner and I guess you know if you carried this with you you could use that little sponge in there you wouldn't need to have a brush it was very easy to touch up what are the pros of this? Well, it's drugstore, and I have found over the last six months, when my skin, since my skin has been less irritated from using, I think, the CBD serum, uh, I can now go back to liquid foundations. Uh, and I have noticed that all the drugstore liquid foundations that don't bother me are made by Revlon. Yeah, and this is Revlon New Complexion. It's 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 not new. It's been out a while, um, and I really like it. I like having a drugstore product. I like that it takes very, very little. This will this lasted me much longer than the Revlon Candid. I like the Revlon Candid. To me, it's not a good deal because there's so little in the tube at the price. This is around eleven ninety nine to twelve ninety nine in Walmart. It's the only place I've seen it or looked for it. I haven't looked in Walgreens or anywhere. Um, this has lasted very well. It takes less. Um, the cons. I don't like using this under my eyes. I have on Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Fresco under my eyes today. I haven't been using a concealer. Uh, I think it's just a little heavy for under my eyes. I do like to finish it off with the powder. I finish off all my foundations with the powder. I'm not after that glowy, luminescent look, and it doesn't look like that, but I just like... I like finishing off with the powder so when I'm on my phone, I don't have makeup on my phone. That's just me. I think this dries down well enough since it is a cream. You wouldn't have to finish it off with a powder. But the con is, I don't like putting it under my eyes. The other con is, come on, Revlon, give us some more shades. There are very, very, very few shades in this. Very, very few. And, you know, that would be an issue for a lot of people. I had a hard time finding a shade. Uh, and this is, um, let me get it right side up. This is 0.35 ounces, and is it, it is in the color sand beige. I like it. I think it wears well. It doesn't hang on my separate keratosis. It lasts all day. I don't touch it up. I could touch it up if I wanted to. 
Um, but I think it wears really well and it, you know, it doesn't oxidize on me. It doesn't turn colors or anything like that. So I like it. I really like it. So there you go. That's my review on the ref line. We've talked about the bracelets. We've talked about the shirts. I have on a sweater now because it's getting cold here. We might, we, they're saying we might get snow this weekend. They're even saying we might get snow at the beach. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I will tell you earlier in the week, yesterday, the day before, it was in the 70s. It's, it's the temperature Friday morning is going to start dropping. And yeah, welcome to North Carolina. One day you're in flip-flops, one day you're in snow boots. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, if it snows, I'm good with it. We talked about the lipstick. I think we covered everything. I hope you have a great day. I hope you make it a great day. Congratulations to the winner. I love the 97 cent lipstick. I love the Revlon foundation. I love the shirts. I think what Stephanie's doing with the bracelets are awesome. And yeah, that's all I got. I'll see y'all later.